All right, what if you had trouble recognizing letters and symbols? That's what it's like for people with dyslexia. One in five people have the condition, and for children, it can make school extra challenging. Vicki Yates introduces us to one young man who is getting some special help. Here at West End Middle School, fifth grader Naquan Johnson is getting ready to go to class. When I was in fourth grade, I couldn't read that much. Being a fifth grader isn't easy when, like Naquan, you're dyslexic. Like some people be making fun of me when I was reading. They like laugh at me if I get one word, if, I st if I'm stuck on one word. Dyslexia is a general term for disorders in learning to read. People with dyslexia are one in five. Or interpret letters and symbols. It's just something that's different in our brain. But does not affect general intelligence. I went to Vanderbilt Law School. I passed the Tennessee Bar Exam. Anna Thorson is also dyslexic. I really struggle with spelling. If I'm spelling a word like handle, candle, travel, I cannot tell if the E-L or L-E. Like that is still a struggle for me. We went from dividing a whole number to dividing by a decimal. That's why she decided to become a mentor to Naquan. He just has such a winning smile, you know, and I just really enjoy spending time with him every week. Sometimes some of the words don't make no sense to me. My daughter was coming to West End and I wanted to follow him because we had that, because we had made that connection. Thorson struck gold watching Senate hearings on the learning disorder, she saw actor Amir Baraka. On Twitter, I said, hey, Amir Baraka, I'm a lady in Nashville. I work with this 10-year-old boy who struggles to read. What can you tell me? Probably within about 20 minutes, I got a message back from him, and it says, I want to talk to him. What's up, man? Hey. Actor Baraka is in New Orleans filming a movie. No one can work harder than you. But once a week, he takes time out to connect with Naquan. If you are ever feeling really down or you're feeling really bad, you got to talk to somebody. Call me, call your mentor, talk to some people, okay? Okay. I couldn't read, so therefore I went to the streets. I tried to find hope in the streets. And I don't want that to happen to any kid. Baraka knows how dyslexia can put the brakes on a child's success. I struggled with dyslexia, and I was cutting school in the third grade, sleeping in hallways because I was embarrassed to go into the schools because I couldn't read. And I don't want that to happen to that kid. I went to prison. This is an unusual mentorship, but um, one that I think is very powerful. Principal Dr. Craig Hammond says his school is determined to make the road smoother for students with learning disabilities. Our teachers are getting trained. We're implementing interventions during our school day specifically to help students with dyslexia. I mean, it has to be intensive. It has to be structured. An hour a day going through this and repeating it. If I spell it out. It still don't make sense to me. They're actually creating pathways in their brain that are building language. Vicki Yates. Because we don't read naturally. News Channel 5. After completing his movie, Shock and Awe, with Tommy Lee Jones, Amir Baraka plans to travel here to Nashville and officially meet face-to-face -face with Naquan.